Hello students, how are you today? Fine, thank you. All right, and um, are you ready to do some mathematics? Yes, sir. Good, and I hope that you are, you are well prepared to do some mathematics. Um, I've been enjoying this class so far. What about you? Yes, yes sir. You sure? Yes, yes sir. Good, and I, I hope that uh, for some of you, who when you started the class, you did not like mathematics, because I know not many persons like mathematics, you know. Right, and I hope that for those of you who did not like mathematics, as we continue with this uh, grade 8 mathematics class, you will get to love mathematics. Good? Because once you love mathematics, well, then your mathematics grades will improve. And isn't that what you want? Yes, yes sir. Good, and I would love for your mathematics grade to improve as well. In our lesson today, we will start a series of uh, studies in the topic measurement. What is the main topic we'll be looking at? Measurement. 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 Now, of course, measurement is broken up into other small topics. And the main topic which we will be looking at today is called perimeter. What is it called? Perimeter. Now, um, you ever heard a word before, right? Yes. yes sir. So tell me something about perimeter. Somebody, who's going to tell me? Yes. So a perimeter is a distance around a closed shape. Go that again. Perimeter is a distance around a closed shape. Perimeter is a perimeter is a distance around a closed shape. Anyone wish to add to that? Anybody wish to add to that? So um, I ask this question. So is this a closed shape? No, no sir. What must I do to close it? If this is Adeline, point A, Adeline. B, C, and D. Join, 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 join A and D. Join A and D. So now it is a closed Close shape. shape. So we can find the, the distance around this closed shape here. All agree? Yes, yes, sir. Good. So that's what we mean by the perimeter. So for example, um, if I find the if I, if I wish to find the, the, the distance around this classroom, the will that be the perimeter of the classroom? around the corners of the classroom. Will it be the perimeter of the classroom? What do you think? What is the shape of this classroom, though? Rectangle. Rectangle. So that will take on a shape, something like this here. Huh? And if I find the distance around that, is that the perimeter? Yes, sir. Because that's what you told me is perimeter. So what about your, um, where you're living, your room? Can you find the perimeter of your room? Yes, yes, sir. What about for your house? Yes, yes sir. What about for the yard which you're living in? Can you find yes. a distance yes. around there? Yes. Good. So once you find a distance around a closed shape, that is called a perimeter. So that's what we will be looking at today. And as a uh, student rightly pointed out, that the perimeter is a distance around a given closed shape or a plane figure. All right, as simple as that. So any plane figure you have, you can find the distance around it. So if the plane figure looks like this, you can find the distance around that. If the plane figure looks like this here, you can still find the distance around it. Okay? So um, how do we go about finding distance around the shape though? Uh, what we do, we use a piece of polythene and measure or so? No, what can we use, for example, for this triangle? We can use a ruler. So what about this shape here? Can we use a ruler to measure the perimeter of that? No, no sir. So how can we go about doing that? So I use a protractor. Use a protractor. A protractor would only give us the measurement for the angle. But we want the distance measurement. Now, in this case, if it is a circle, if it is a part of a circle, well, then there is a special formula that we can use, which we're going to look at later. But if it is just an ordinary shape, because imagine if you have uh, some, uh, some block in a residential area, and the road work looks like this here, but then this piece of road come in like this, and, and you want to find the distance along the road there. You know, there are special instruments that they use for measuring the length of the road. So uh, regardless of how many turns the road has, you would still be able to find the perimeter of this block here. Okay? Good.
In today's lesson, we will just look at the basic uh, perimeter. Right? We would not get too difficult because I want to reserve the difficult questions for the next lesson. So I want to give you uh, simple questions today to make you really master this perimeter so that when we come with tougher questions in the next lesson, you will still be able to answer those. Good? Yes. So I, I hope you find these questions to be very simple today as well. Let us take a first question. Now if you consider this diagram on the board here, uh, this shape, and we wish to find the perimeter of this shape. Now I would like for you to help me because I do not know how to find the perimeter. Let us assume that I do not know how to find the perimeter of this shape, but you are the mathematicians. So you will help me find the perimeter. Can you do that? Yes, yes sir. Good. So how do I find the perimeter? Yes, what do I have to do to find the perimeter of this shape? Add up, Add up. Add up all the distance around the shape. Good. So, for example, I will say that the perimeter, if I denote it with P, I will say the perimeter is equal to the side AB because that's what you told me to do, to add up all the sides. So we have the side AB plus BC plus, should I continue? Yeah. Yes. CD plus DE plus E, F, any more? No, 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 sir. What about this side? F, A, F. All right. Or we can say F, A, if we're going to just go in the sequence like that. So let us add, let us see what we have. What is the length of A, B? 80 centimeters. All right. I will just reserve the centimeters for the last one. So we have 18. What about B, C? 2, two, two centimeters. centimeters. So it's 18 plus 2. C, D? No. No, this 8 is D, E. So what is C, D? Aren't we going to come back to C, D? What about D, E? 8. Eight. Eight. And E, F? 12. And F, A? 10. 10. 10. 10. F, A is 10. How did you get 10? Yes, because observe, even though we're not given this full length here, we know from here to there is 8, that's D to E is 8, and then from C to B is 2. So 8 and the 2 will give us 10. So we know that F A is 10. Now, what is C D? Six. How did you get six? Six. How did you get six? You have, to, you have to teach me. Minus what? Twelve, 12 from 18. eighteen. Twelve from eighteen. Correct. Because observe that this full length here is eighteen, but then from F to E is twelve. So it therefore means this balance distance here will be eighteen subtract twelve, which is six. six. And when we add this all up, what do we get? Someone please add it up and tell us what we get. Yes, someone? 56. 18 and 2, 20. 26 and 8, 34. 46 and 10. 56? Good. So we have the perimeter of this shape here to be 56 centimeters. Any question? So we see that finding the perimeter of a shape is about adding up all the sides. And of course we can find this side here to be 10 and this side here to be 6. Good. Any question from anyone? Alright. Um, please copy this as quickly as possible. And I have second problem waiting on you.
we have a second problem on the board here and I'll give you 10 seconds to tell me what is the perimeter of this triangle. Five seconds. Forty CM. Harish is saying forty CM. Anyone agreeing with Harish? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, a few persons agreeing with yes. Harish. Forty CM. So we say that the perimeter is equal to. We have the twelve plus the ten plus eighteen CM, and this will give us. 22 and 18 will give us 40, 40. correct, 40 cm. So this perimeter, perimeter thing is easy. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. But do you love mathematics when it is easy or difficult? Difficult. Both. You, you, you like a challenge too. All right, well, the next question will definitely be a challenge for you. I wonder if it will be, though. You don't think it will any perimeter problem could challenge you though, do you? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I love your confidence, man. Here we have a rectangle. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Yes. 46. We have an answer of 40. And you want to say 46 too? Huh? It's 46. It's 46. So you believe it's 46 too? Yeah. Alright, let me see how many other persons believe it's 46. Or someone have a, a yes, different sir. answer. 46. 46. So everybody, so what about if I disagree with you now? You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You're wrong. Okay, alright. So you know to find perimeter more than me. Alright, let's see. The perimeter is equal to? Adding up the sides, if we have the sides A, B, C, D, it will be at this side, that side, this side, and then that side. But we know for the perimeter, for the rectangle, this side will be equal to that, that side. So this will also be 14, and this will, across here will be 9. So we will have 2 times 14, plus 14 plus 14, plus 2 times the 9. Or remember, for the perimeter of the rectangle, it is uh, 2 times the length plus the breadth. We can also do that. So we have, uh, this will give us 28 plus 18, which gives us 46 meters. Yes, we meters now. So don't always um, think that the measurement must always be one. Can be meters, can be centimeter, can be kilometer, um, according to which uh, which unit we're using. Take a next problem. But these don't seem to be problems to you. Consider this square, P, Q, R, S. The square P, Q, R, S, with side being 8 meter. P, Q, R, S, with side being 8 meter. And it is a square. I would like for someone in 5 seconds to tell me what is the perimeter. What, 5 seconds, Richard? 32. 32. How did you get 32? 32. All right, let me hear. Let me hear one person. Yes. Um, in the square, if one side is one amount, all sides same. So in the square, all the sides have the same length. Nice. Right. All, everyone agree with that? Yes. So if this one side is eight, well then to find the perimeter of the square, we will say that the perimeter of the square is equal to four times the length of one side. Agree? Yes. So this is going to be equal to 4 times 8, eight, six, eight meters. And this, way, this is how we get our 32 meters. Is that clear? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Any question on perimeter? Any question? 
So perimeter is a simple <laughs> task for you. And I'm happy that it is simple for you because you know some persons um, say that mathematics is difficult, but it's always great when we can find mathematics to be simple. Any questions? All right, well, let us uh, summarize with what we did in this lesson. We looked at which this is under the, the series of lessons uh, under the topic measurement, but today we looked at perimeter and we just did the basics of perimeter. We looked at the perimeter of various shapes, the perimeter of a rectangle, triangle, square, which was this last question which we did here, the perimeter of a square, and um, we all find the perimeter to be relatively simple. Do you agree? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, well, we will stop here for this lesson and we will continue in our next lesson. Bye. Bye.